Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been highly requested effective strategies for meeting women offline. In a world dominated by online interactions, it's easy to forget the power of face-to-face -face connections. Whether you're looking to build meaningful relationships or simply expand your social circle, these strategies are tried and tested to help you confidently approach and connect with women in real-life settings. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have actionable tips to boost your confidence and success in the offline dating scene. Let's get started. Effective Strategies for Meeting Women Offline Introduction, The Importance of Offline Connections In an era dominated by digital interactions and online dating apps, the significance of meeting women offline cannot be overstated. While technology has undoubtedly made it easier to connect with others, it often lacks the depth and authenticity that face-to-face -face interactions provide. Offline meetings offer a unique opportunity to build genuine connections, allowing individuals to experience real-time chemistry and foster meaningful relationships. One of the primary advantages of engaging with women offline is the ability to observe non-verbal cues and body language, which play a crucial role in communication. These subtle signals are often lost in text-based conversations, making it challenging to gauge true intentions and emotions. In-person interactions also enable individuals to respond and adapt to each other's reactions instantaneously, creating a more dynamic and engaging experience. Additionally, meeting women offline allows for more organic and spontaneous connections. Unlike the often curated profiles and premeditated messages found on dating apps, real-life encounters happen naturally in diverse settings such as social events, community gatherings, or even casual day-to-day -day activities. These spontaneous interactions can lead to more authentic relationships, as they are built on shared experiences and genuine interests. 1. Developing confidence and social skills Building confidence and honing social skills are pivotal elements in the journey of meeting women offline. Confidence acts as a catalyst, significantly enhancing one's ability to make a positive first impression. To build this essential trait, start by improving self-awareness and self-acceptance. Embrace your strengths and acknowledge areas for improvement without harsh self-criticism. This balanced perspective fosters genuine self-confidence, which is attractive and engaging. Body language plays a fundamental role in nonverbal communication. Adopting an open posture, maintaining eye contact, and smiling genuinely can convey confidence and approachability. Practice standing tall with your shoulders back and avoiding closed-off gestures like crossing your arms. Eye contact, in particular, is crucial it demonstrates attentiveness and interest. However, it should be natural and not overly intense to avoid making the other person uncomfortable. Effective communication goes beyond body language. It involves active listening, showing genuine interest in the other person's words, and responding thoughtfully. Avoid interrupting and ensure your responses are relevant. This not only keeps the conversation flowing but also shows respect and consideration, which are key to building a positive report. 2. Starting conversations the art of small talk. Initiating conversations with women in offline settings can often feel daunting, but mastering the art of small talk can significantly ease this process. The key lies in breaking the ice with confidence and authenticity. One effective strategy is to use open-ended questions, which encourage more than just a yes or no response. For instance, instead of asking, do you come here often, you might ask, what do you like most about this place? This invites the other person to share more about their experiences and preferences, leading to a more engaging dialogue. Making genuine compliments is another excellent way to start a conversation. A sincere and thoughtful compliment can make someone feel appreciated and open to further interaction. It's important to focus on something specific and meaningful, such as complimenting their choice of a book, an interesting piece of jewelry, or their insight during a discussion. Avoid generic compliments that might come off as insincere or rehearsed. Finding shared interests is crucial for sustaining a conversation. Identifying common ground, whether it's a mutual hobby, a favorite movie, or a shared professional field, can create a natural flow of dialogue. By discussing these shared interests, you can build a connection that feels both comfortable and engaging. Additionally, showing curiosity about the other person's passions or hobbies can lead to deeper and more meaningful conversations. 3. Building genuine connections. Transitioning from small talk to more meaningful conversations 
is a crucial step in building genuine connections. The initial small talk acts as a foundation, but it's the deeper conversations that truly foster a sense of understanding and intimacy. To make this transition, start by finding commonalities. Whether it's shared interests, hobbies, or experiences, identifying mutual touch points can act as a bridge to more profound discussions. These shared interests provide a natural segue into conversations that go beyond surface-level topics. Authenticity is key in these interactions. Being yourself, rather than trying to impress or fit a certain mold, allows for a more genuine connection. Authenticity fosters trust and encourages the other person to be their true self as well. This mutual authenticity lays the groundwork for a relationship built on honesty and sincerity. 4. Following up and staying connected After successfully meeting someone new offline, the next crucial step is to follow up and stay connected. This process can often determine whether the initial interaction blossoms into a meaningful relationship. One of the best practices for following up is to exchange contact information before parting ways. This can be as simple as sharing phone numbers or social media handles, depending on the comfort level of both parties. Ensure that the exchange is mutual to avoid any feelings of imbalance or discomfort. Timing is essential when reaching out after the initial meeting. Typically, a follow-up message should be sent within 24 to 48 hours. This demonstrates genuine interest and keeps the momentum going. When crafting your message, make it personal and reference something specific from your conversation. This not only shows that you were attentive, but also makes the message feel more sincere and thoughtful. Consistency in communication is key to building a strong connection. However, it is important to strike a balance between being persistent and respectful of the other person's time and space. Regular, yet spaced-out communication helps in keeping the relationship growing organically. Utilize various methods of communication, such as text messages, phone calls, or social media interactions, to keep the conversations engaging and varied. 5. Conclusion, Embracing the Journey Meeting women offline is a rewarding endeavor that allows for genuine connections and meaningful relationships. As discussed, taking the initiative to engage in social activities attending events that align with your interests, and embracing opportunities to interact with new people are vital strategies for meeting women. Equally important is developing strong communication skills and demonstrating authenticity and respect in all interactions. Building meaningful relationships is a process that requires time, effort, and patience. It's essential to approach this journey with an open mind and a positive attitude understanding that each interaction is an opportunity to learn and grow. The key is to enjoy the process, celebrate small victories, and not to be discouraged by setbacks. Forming connections in the real world brings a sense of fulfillment that digital interactions often lack, making the effort worthwhile. By embracing the journey of meeting women offline, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities and enriching experiences. Remember, the connections you form are not just about finding a romantic partner, but also about expanding your social network and creating a support system. Each new person you meet has the potential to bring something valuable to your life, whether it's friendship, new perspectives, or shared experiences. Ultimately, the journey of meeting women offline is as much about self-discovery and personal growth as it is about forming relationships. As you navigate this journey, keep in mind the importance of being genuine, respectful, and open to new experiences. With these strategies and a positive mindset, you'll find that meeting women offline can be a truly rewarding and enjoyable endeavor. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope you found these strategies helpful in your journey to meeting women offline. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to put yourself out there and try new approaches. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. As always, feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Until next time, happy dating!